Ayo, Joey made that shit crazy. What's up everyone? So today on the Land Cruiser, we're gonna be relocating the windshield washer fluid reservoir to the back, getting the Land Cruiser ready for a dual battery setup. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to have to do is remove a few bolts, one here, one here, down there, and then you're gonna have a plug you have to remove, and then you're gonna to have to unplug the actual tube that feeds to the sprayers. Then it's gonna go over here. It's gonna be all neat at the end. All right, so now that we have everything removed, you have a big open spot here ready for the dual battery that's going to join to my primary battery. So now you're gonna to have to undo these two 12 millimeter bolts right here on the antenna motor and that's going to hold the main bracket for the reservoir right here i'm just getting everything mounted up to the reservoir uh, this part is fairly simple you can kind of just look at the picture on the instructions and it's fairly simple to tell you how it's supposed to be mounted and what goes where but you'll see at the end how everything goes So actually I was wrong earlier. Uh, those are actual 10 millimeter bolts, not 12. But anyways, you're gonna remove those two 10 millimeter bolts and then you're going to put the windshield reservoir right there. And those two bolts are gonna hold the bulk of the weight. Uh, you're gonna take those stock bolts and just put them right back in place and uh, everything will be just fine. Now right here, I actually end up trying to use the impact to get these both threaded, silly mistake on me. So I actually end up having to thread them in by hand a little bit first and then using a ratcheting wrench and that end up getting them in pretty quick. So on this portion, you're simply gonna remove this stock bolt that holds in the air box. You're gonna swing that leg in and then replace that factory bolt right back in its place and it's pretty simple. Ayo, hey, Joey made that shit crazy. Once you fed your water line, Underneath everything, you're gonna simply just plug it back in and voila. This has nothing to do with the install, but my roommate is over here installing rock sliders on his 80 series Land Cruiser. So I figure I'll show you guys a little snippet of some work he's doing. These are a DIY well together kit. Pretty inexpensive, but man, he really need these bad. You can actually see a dent right there above the sliders. All right, so back to it. So next, what you have to do is you have to cut the stock sensor, the uh, plug, cut the wires, and then you're gonna have to solder everything together to the two wires that's provided in the kit. There's the black and blue wire, and it's gonna go to a black and blue wire on the stock plug. And then you just solder those wires together, extend the plug, and 
pretty simple as that. And um, once you plug everything up, everything should work just fine. It's intended.